All right, we've got our tape cut out of the way and we're ready for the next step. Next thing you want to do is get your squeeze connector plate that we've made. And you want to put, go ahead and put that along with, uh, first off, your other insulator. Right now you've got one insulator on the solar panel and you don't want to take that one off. That one's in place and you've got epoxy all the way around it so it's a nice seal. Nothing can get underneath there. Uh, just make sure your, your wires are straight. Still coming out here at the insulator. Try not to move your work here, the solar panel, too much yet until we get these pieces on here. Make sure your wires are coming straight out from your panel underneath that insulator. Go ahead and put on your second piece of rubber over the top. Oh, that's on backwards. Now we have a nice insulator piece so that we can put our squeeze connector together. These runs are looking like they're coming straight out. That's some good. Make sure you put your squeeze connector template on the same way as your rubber. And so all that has some insulation just sticking out in the areas of where your wires come out. Go ahead and put your hardware together for the machine screw. I'm just going to put on the washer and the nut at this point so I can kind of get these things started. Save your lock washer and put that on here after we're all done with this next step. Once you have one of these on, you can, there will be a room to go ahead and put your lock washer on, your other post, you just tighten that down a little bit, and if you just push gently, turn a little bit, you can get that started. Once you have that one together, you can go ahead and take your nut back off here. Put on your lock washer. And you'll be able to put that nut back on. Just a little bit of pressure. Right, just get them to where they're hand tight there. You don't have to try to go crazy yet. Just want something to help stabilize our wire as we take the, as we take off our uh, mold framework from our pour. Now that you have your squeeze connector in place, junction box, you're going to be able to move your solar panel around so that we can actually get off uh, our our uh, our mold slash framework we used during the pour. Uh, what you need to do is carefully just. Start peeling it down along the sides. It'll peel right off, or should. And uh, if you did it right, like we showed you in all the steps prior to this, it'll just come right off of there. Sure to go all the way around it. And just, right now you're working on the wax paper, getting the wax paper off. You're going to see a little bit of an over pour. And it's still taped down to the bottom, don't forget. And once you have that wax paper off the sides, just flip it over and remove the tape. 
carefully. Remember that these things can only bend about 20 to 25 degrees. So you want to go slow. Take your time. Pull off that tape. Wax paper. You did a good job. When you look at the back side of the board, you'll see that there's a little bit of epoxy in that one eighth of an inch area that you had wax paper over. And that's just what you want. That's going to just seal your solar panel up so no water can get in there from the sides. It's a great little thing. As long as you follow those directions, you won't have any problem with this. Right now one side came up with the tape, the other side is just the wax papers come off, so you, I gotta go back underneath there and or go under there and or go back to this side and uh, pull up the tape. Once again, just hold your panel as you're doing this. Don't want to bend it too much. Throw that tape away. Going to take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and clean up the back side of the solar panel. A little bit of the glue from the tape has remained after I've taken that off of there. Isopropyl alcohol takes it right off. Just take a few minutes to clean up the back side of your board so it's not sticky. Takes a few minutes, but once you've got all of uh, the glue from the tape off of there, it'll be much easier to handle. And it's going to look good. As long as your epoxy is dry, waited at least those 24 hours, it won't hurt uh, the epoxy resin that you put on here to use the isopropyl alcohol on the back side. You'll actually be able to use it wherever you want to. Shouldn't need to put it on the front side at all though. And I just can't wait to look at the other side. We're going to look at the other side just to see what it's looking like. I still have down my wax paper because I'm going to do a little bit more here with some epoxy. Like I said, this end of it, the red tape had come off while I was epoxying. I got a little bit of the epoxy on to the insulation bus wire area. So that last piece of tape I had on there uh, had come off. And we're actually going to put a little bit of epoxy right here and a little bit down here by the squeeze connector where the bus wire is still exposed. It's nice and insulated going under here, but right now there's it's just a little bit exposed. It's, it's up above. Yeah, it's kind of just in it uh, of the epoxy, and I just want to make sure that's sealed real well. So we're going to go ahead and put some epoxy in those two areas, and this panel will be done. Uh, before I do that, just let you know, there's a little bit of overpour that I was talking about here on the side of the panel. And you just need some 150 grit sandpaper. And you're just going to sand that off. Might take you a minute or so. You can also use a Dremel tool if you're real good. 
And here's the money shot. I'm Chris with Solar Tech TV. Watch all our how-to videos. Check out our website, atlantic-solar-science.com. Yeah.